Today, we're going to be looking at some cores I think are pretty good in Regulation E. Now, obviously, guys, we are only a few days into the format, so things will change as the metagame develops, but I wanted to give you guys my perspective on how things are starting to play out in Regulation E. So the first thing we're going to touch on here is actually a core around Weezing. Now, this is actually a really, really interesting team. I think it's like a really good balance um, way to like kind of run it. Uh, and that is Weezing, Ogre Pawn, Reggie Alecki, and our good friend Roaring Moon. Now, this core is really good for a few reasons. So, obviously, Weezing here with Neutralizing Gas basically turns off the ability of all Pokemon on the board. Um, this is great for a number of reasons. So, it's really good into the Urshifus, for example, because you can turn off things like um, Unseen Fist. It's really good into things like Tornadoes because you can turn off their Pranks to Taylor Winds. Um, and just stuff like that. But another really cool feature actually as well is Weezing does not turn off Photosynthesis, especially, um, I don't know how it works with Sun. Obviously, um, you would turn off Drought, but you do not turn off Booster Energy. So like Booster Energy on this is really cool because you still get your boost on it, right? Um, in terms of how this one should be played though, I do think um, it's like a really good Willow Wisp spot, right? So you run at something like this, you go like Lefties, you go Willow, uh, you go Pain Split, uh, then Protect as well. Protect's really good because like what this team kind of wants to do is it kind of wants to bait your tower out turn one. It, you just say like, hey, like especially like hyper offensive teams with things like Urshifu, you just double protect turn one, see what they want to do and then from there you can kind of pivot around, right? Um, in terms of the last slot here, um, there's a, this one has a lot of coverage, right? You got things like Gunk Shot, Clear Smog, um, Flamethrower, T-Bolt, all that good stuff. Um, I have seen people running this that are going Stockpile, um, which I'm not a massive fan of just because you obviously you don't really have the best ways to deal with damage but between will o wisp and pain split this money is really really annoying um so getting those defensive stats up is pretty good uh in terms of terrors basically i think you kind of just want to resist um ground types really like honestly you're never really terroring this mod anyway but something like terror grass could be really good helps you out into earth Chief, helps you out into the ground type mods um but yeah so it's pretty decent uh in terms of stats as you see here this mod's already like super physically bulky um so max hp is always really good and then from there I, I've not played around with it enough to know exactly how I'd want to spread it, but I'd probably just go something like this, uh, go to like the bump number, uh, chuck the rest in defense, and then we'll just go like something like this, for example. Um, and then, yeah, that way, basically, you're taking as little damage as you can from like things like Confusion and, um, uh, what's it called? Confusion and like Foul Play. Um, and yeah, obviously, you just, yeah, you don't really need your damage there. Something like that's pretty cool. Uh, Water Ogre Point's really interesting for a couple of reasons. On this team, it's more like more used as a support that can deal like a bit of damage. So between like spiky shield and obviously um you know neutralizing gas basically nothing can break through the spiky shield which is really cool ivy cudgel looks like a really really good move on this one um and then obviously the last move comes down to what you think you need it has access to things like taunt uh we have obviously wood hammer we have grassy glide as well um there is also what am i blanking on horn leech horn leech is the last one too horn leech is pretty good personally i run wood hammer just because i like to be a bit more offensive uh but obviously yeah it, it, it comes down to whatever you want uh, and then in terms of spreads here, I think max HP is really good. I kind of just like running to like one bump on this from running Adamant. I, I do think you still obviously want to deal quite a bit of damage. And, you know, with a 100 base power stab move here, that gets boosted by 20%. And then another 120 base power move here that also gets boosted by 20%. Uh, having that little bit of extra attack does go a long way. And then the real question there comes down to how much speed you want. I think I was running something like this on mine. I'm um, just like a hit 156, which again, paired up with like things like Reggie Alecki is like really, really good. Um, but yeah, that, it all comes down to what you want. You could run this thing more bulky. You could also like potentially swap this out for something like Leech Seed as well. Um, and basically play this like really slow game where like you're Willow Wisping him, you're Pain Splitting him, you're Leech Seeding him, and just run through like that, right? Uh, and then Reggie Lucky's job on this team is pretty simple. It's basically just to like nuke things like um, Tornadoes. As I said, it is really, really good for um, obviously, you know, make sure you've always got the speed control, right? Because Tornadoes plus Weezing is like fantastic. Sorry, Reggie Lucky plus Weezing is fantastic. And like really cool things you can do as well with this one because um i think there's like two ways i should quickly say to go um, so i think specs and sash are the way you want to run this um i think terra ice is also probably the way you want to run it uh, and then you just go for something like thunderbolt uh vault switch uh terror blast and then it comes down to like uh you go protect if you sash if you're not you probably just run something like electro webs right just because like electro webs obviously really good with things like ogre point and roaring moon uh and then yeah this one's job is essentially just to like pick up nukes or like, you know, use Weezing, right? Because like, I I've seen games where people go like, Ogre Pawn Bust Reggie Alecki, and you're like, oh, bet this is a free Tailwind, and then they swap the Weezing into the Ogre Pawn slot. They then Bolt Switch off the uh, the Tornadoes, they one shot, they get the Ogre Pawn back in, and then all of a sudden, like, you've just, you know, you've used like a ground type move on a, on a, water a grass type Pokemon and just did nothing. And then all of a sudden you've lost wide mind, you got the advantage, Weezing's on the board, it's hard to do it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, in terms of spreads, I do think Modest is fine. The only thing that like Modest really doesn't outspeed um, is probably just like Grass Ogre Pawn, I'd say. Um, that's like Grass Ogre Pawn with Terra, obviously. Outside of that, um, you outspeed the, the Urshis, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure you outspeed all base 100 Scarfers as well. So, um, actually, do you outspeed base 100 Scarfers? Let's have a look. Chew, chew, chew. 
if you're max speed, what are you hitting? Um, so what would that be? 83 on top of that, so 70. Okay, yeah, so that hits 250. So yeah, you do outspeed um, base 100 Scarfers. So basically anything faster that you don't outspeed. But yeah, so it's really good for obviously like, you know, base 100s, um, Hershey food and whatnot. So yeah, really good. Uh, and then finally, Roaring Moon. Now, the cool thing with Moon on this team is, as I said, Weezing does not turn it off, uh, turn off its, its booster. But not to mention, this mod also, I think, just pairs really, really good with Ogre Pawn. Uh, and then on top of that, Roaring Moon is just so good into the meta, right? There are a lot of grass types running around, like a lot of teams running two grasses with like Ogre Pawn Sinister, um, also like Rillaboom and whatnot. So I do think just having something like Terra Flying, Acro, Roaring Moon is just like a really, really good call. Not to mention, Knock Off is just like a great addition to this mod's moveset. It like helps to pick up KOs that you kind of just missed before. Um, but yeah, I think this one's pretty standard. Like you're just going to run the very, very like normal set. Um, it's not meant to be Terra Ghost, never, not meant, uh, meant to be flying. Uh, and then in terms of stats, I do actually just like running the Jolly Max spread. Uh, basically, the reason I like running Jolly Max Max is simply because 188 outspeeds Champ out and Fluttermans who are modest and adamant. Um, so yeah, that's basically the first call there, guys. I do think it's a really, really cool core. It's got like a lot of really cool concepts. And I do think it, it can be a bit more difficult to pilot, but it's also really hard for your opponent to know exactly what you're doing with it. There is one other OP thing Roaring Moon has, and that is the subscribe button. And only 8% of players know about this tech. And from what I've heard, if you click it, it greatly increases your ranking on the ladder. So click the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? So the next core I'm going to kind of touch on here is, I'm going to kind of combine this into one, like one core, but it's actually kind of two cores, both built around Tornadus, right? So, um, and this also, by the way, uses two different Ogre Pawns, and you'll probably notice that a lot. I've got a lot of Ogre Pawns on these teams. So, uh, this team in particular uh, focuses on the Grass Ogre Pawn, and this is actually just like a rain team built around uh, Urshi, Ogre Pawn, and Chen Pao. Now, the cool thing I really, really like with this, and look, I'm not going to go too much into the sets for these guys because I think they are pretty, like, pretty self explanatory. Um, it comes, it's up to you guys how you just want to EV them. But basically, you go like Bleak Wind Storm, you go Tailwind, you go Rain Dance, and you go Leer. Basically, Tailwind's like, oh, sorry, uh, Rain Dance is really good on this team because obviously we're running the Grass Ogre Pawn and we're running Chien Power, both of which will be to fire. Uh, and then on top of that as well, obviously it boosts up the Urshifu while also, you know, giving you 100% uh, Bleak Wind Storms. Tailwind's obviously Tailwind, just make sure you're the fastest thing on the board. Uh, and then Leer paired up with these three mons is absolutely insane. Um, obviously, you know, this guy with like, um, I've been running Miracle Seed on it, like Miracle Seed Terror with uh, Ivy Cudgel, just like, man, it's a nuke, man. Especially if you got the crit, man, resist the dying in one shot to this thing. Um, I've been trying out Scarf. You can test something out, um, else out. But Scarf Water, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? Scarf Water Surging Strike. Really freaking good, man. Like, um, again, I, I feel like I don't have to go too in-depth with these guys. I, I feel like you all know what this does. You just got, like, Adamant 252. Uh, same thing with this guy. I, I play Adamant 252. I don't know if that's, like, the best. But, like, yeah. It, it kind of hits what it needs to. I, I think I was running something like that. Uh, and then finally, Champ Out. Same thing. Just Focus Sash, the, the standard set. Um, you just go for something like Sucker Punch. You can go Ice Spinner. Um, you can obviously go Ice Super Crash if you wanted as well. You can go Sacred Sword here. Uh, it, again, it just comes down to what you want to play. But yeah, this core here is like really, really good. I think it's like really hard to deal with, especially if you get the free Tailwind up or you don't need the Tailwind because that's the other thing as well. This core is like really naturally fast as well. So if you're not going up against opposing like speed control, um, yeah, you can just like basically turn one, just go Lyra Rain Dance and then just start sweeping through. Uh, and then the other variation of this team is actually a uh, the, the Sun variant of this that I've actually been playing. Um, so we're going back to Ogre Pawn uh, once again. Again, th this guy's on like every freaking team I'm using. I, I love this guy a lot. Uh, and it's ve just a variation of my old team. Uh, I got to 1800 with a very similar team uh, for this in Regulation D. Uh, and it's basically just like Sunny Day. Uh, and then instead of uh, Leer, you kind of just like slap whatever, right? You can go like Pawn Protect, whatever. Um, yeah, very, very similar concept um, on this guy as well. I believe I was running Terra Steel just because I like the defensive stuff. Uh, but yeah, this guy, he's just like Ivy Cudgel. He's Spiky Shield uh ivy cudgel spiky shield um i think i was playing Woodhammer, but you could also I, I think if you were to tech on a rillaboom same with the last team if you tech rillaboom onto either team um you could obviously go grassy glide i do think rillaboom on the last team was probably a bit better uh but yeah this one's pretty standard um this guy also has taunt as well which i think is pretty cool uh this one i just like run ghost uh it's just ghost specs like that's how i played it i really enjoyed it uh and then this guy here was just pixie plate uh, in terms of the spreads, it was just like, this guy was uh, Terra Fairy, where's Terra Fairy? Terra Fairy, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, uh, Shadow Ball Protect, right? It's just very standard. EV it how you want. Um, I personally EV'd it for the special attack boost in the sun, uh, just because I like to deal that bit of extra damage. This guy, uh, same thing, right? He's just Dark Pulse, he's Snarl, he's Heat Wave. Uh, and then I personally like Flamethrower over Overheat, but you can run whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the core. They're just like my two weather teams I'm really playing around with. 
Um, on this set as well, I believe I was running Jolly on this set rather than Adamant, just because I wanted that little bit of extra speed. Because uh, obviously you don't get the speed boost coming off your Terra like you do with the uh, the Grass version. But yeah, they're my two like weather teams. I kind of tried to merge them into one rather than giving you guys um, you know deep deep explanations on them. Obviously on the channel I play a lot of weather with Tornadus, so uh, yeah, I thought I'd just kind of briefly explain those ones for you. So the next card I kind of actually want to look at here is a bit of a guilty pleasure in mind now. Look, I'm not gonna lie, every time a format comes around, I'm always trying to see if I can make Grim Style screens work. And there's a really, really interesting team that I think you can kind of play around with right now, and that is actually Grim Style plus our good friend Fezendipity. Now, obviously, you know, I, I've been saying the last couple of days I actually think Fezendipity is a pretty cool mon. Um, you know, I like the ability to kind of spread the poisons. Uh, and again, this is a very similar team to what I played in the past. I played it with things like uh you know, Simon Gudrun and whatnot. Um, which, by the way, um, haven't actually tested it yet, so I, I'm not going to touch on it too much here. But I actually do think this team paired up with um, Coma O on this team, like use Coma O as like an Iron Defense Body Press mod on this team, could also be kind of cool. Um, I haven't tested it, so I won't go into that just yet. But keep that in mind as like a potential fifth mod to put on this team. But basically, the idea behind this team is we have our screens in Grimstone, uh, we have Pheasant Divinity, who's kind of there to like spread the poison, uh, and then basically you can just cycle around. I played a very similar team to this in the past where I had Amoongus in this slot. Um, but I think Sinisty, like, what I can kind of do that Amoongus can't is it can kind of, like, instead of, like, swapping itself out to heal up, it can swap itself out to heal up its ally. Um, in this case, it would be something like Pheasantipity or our Choice Scarf Landorus. Uh, but basically, the way I was kind of, like, running this team was, so obviously, we're going, like, Clay, we're going Prankster. Um, the Terra is kind of whatever. Um, I think Ghost is probably just, like, the best. Um, then, obviously, you know, Light Screen, Reflect, uh, Spirit Break. And then on this team in particular, I really like uh, Parting Shot. So... Basically, the idea behind Parting Shot is we, we have our, obviously, priority Parting Shot here. You pair that up with a Choice Scarf U-turn on this Mon, uh, and then just the ability just to switch in our Sinistee, right, and just basically heal up our ally, and I think it's a really cool, um, it's a really cool, like, niche combo that can, like, really put in a lot of work in terms of just, like, buffing up your, your kind of raid boss Mon, right? And as I said, in this case, like, we are playing around with, um, with our good friend here, Pheasantipity. Um, I personally like Berry on this Mon, but I could definitely see a world where something like Cuffy Cloak's also really good. Um, but for the purpose of this, we'll just put Citrus Berry there. We go Toxic Chain because we basically just want to spread our poison around. Um, I think Terra Water is the Terra type I'm kind of leaning towards the most. I do like Grass on it, but Water is like also cool. But essentially, this one is here just to spam out these two moves in particular, right? So basically, for those who don't know, Toxic Chain has a 30% chance to badly poison the enemy every time you attack them. It does not have to be physical, it's just attack them. So it works with both Dazzling Gleam and the Icy Wind, which obviously is like a really, really nice combo um, because again, these are both spread moves. So it's like, a, I think it's like a 51 or 53% chance each turn you're going to poison at least one Mon. Um, and I've had plenty of times where I, uh, I poison both, you know. Uh, and then to round it off, obviously, you just go for like Protect and then Roost. Roost is actually really cool on this Mon because basically like your physical defense is, sorry, your special defense is already like so high um, that you can really afford to just like invest into your physical bulk and just make sure this Mon never goes down. Um, in terms of speed, I was testing like Max Speed Timid um, but on a screens team, I don't necessarily think that is the play. Um, you could probably run this up to something like 126 if you really wanted, and then probably just like hit some bump number here, right? Uh, is 130 the bump I want to hit? Yeah, 130 is probably the bump, so maybe something like that's okay. Put that there, uh, and then you just run like a bold nature, right? And then you see this, like this becomes really, really tanky, and then when you've got things like Citrus Berry as well, which by the way, just for Citrus, um, Citrus is 92, right? Yeah, pretty sure Citrus is at 92, so you could even go something like that to get us to the speed tier we wanted. Um, and then, yeah, basically, you just play in a world where, like, this mod's job is to kind of poison both bonds uh, and then start healing up. And then you use things like screens, uh, parting shot, uh, lenderous intimidate, U turn, to basically just slowly chip down the opponent, right? So you go for something like this. Uh, what do I want in the last slot? slot? Uh, Terra Blast, of course, Terra Blast, yeah. Helps us take down those pesky ground types. Oh, sorry, those grass types. And then, obviously, as well, like, the Mooguses can be kind of annoying for this team. And then, Sinister's job on this team is basically just to be. Dude, they really need to remove that. Uh, it's really just here to be like a hospitality bot, right? It kind of switches in, it heals up its allies. Um, again, really good for like something like Pheasant to be keeping it alive just so I can keep clicking its buttons. Uh, and then it's also like a Rage Pattern Mon, it's a Trick Room Mon, it's a Macha Gotcha Mon. Uh, yeah, this guy, he does a lot. Hex is also really cool as well, paired up with Pheasant Dippity. Um, because you can even run this thing as like something like this, where it's like, hey, I do like a little bit of damage, you know? Um, but like, I'm kind of here just to be a support. Uh, but at the same time, you know, like, you probably want to run it up a little bit, like somewhere... It Really, you just kind of want to speed creep some mods. I think like 195 is probably like decent, and then you just like pump the rest into like here or something like that. Yeah, go like that. Um, so yeah, you can use it as like a hex spammer. Uh, Macha Gotcha is obviously really good. You can get Rage Powder. If you want, drop this for like Nasty Plot as well, because this one behind screens is actually kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, you run something like this. I think it's like a really, really cool mod. And yeah, basically the gameplay with this team is you just like, 
really you're just pivoting around just being really really annoying i'd probably go something like this i'd say uh and then just run like an adamant nature so you're still pumping out damage and then uh, in terms of grim style always comes down to the better game um i think bold is just better right now uh not bold sorry um impish uh yeah i think impish is just better but again it, it comes down to what the meta game's like like if there is a lot of you know special mods obviously maybe you flick it around a bit um this mod is pretty weak to things like um blood of maiden golden girl obviously but i do think most of the time you're running into things like chen power teams so because of that i do like running as much defense as i physically can but yeah, this is a guilty project of mine um again I, I think this team could really use a raid boss something like Komo could be really cool i just haven't had a, ch had a chance to test it yet but yeah pheasant dippity plus star sinister with just like damage reduction is a really really cool concept now, piggybacking off that, we actually have another Sinistee core here. Now, this is actually a, a Perish Trap core using my guy, Polito. Now, this is a really, really interesting team, right? So, basically, the way it works, right, is um, you got your boys, Poly, you got your guy, Goth, and then you have Basque Legion. Now, Basque Legion is really, really cool for this team uh, for a couple reasons. Um, and mainly one, obviously, is like, it's a Swift Swimmer in rain um, with a really good damage, uh, sorry, a really good attack stat. So, it can obviously pump out a lot of damage for you, right? Uh, basically like in my experience like what a lot of perish trap teams really want is they want to be able to pick up a ko before they trap things in right so there are a lot of situations where you can go for you know your quick you know quick ko using basque legion plus polytoad uh, you know polytoad can go for something like helping hand you've got like the wave crash here uh you just pick up a ko and it's great right but what another like really cool niche is that um this one has and like uh things like you know rillaboo is not rillaboo urshifu also have it uh but it is uh flip turn obviously um, urshifu doesn't have flip turn but it has u-turn right has the ability to get out when it needs to and uh, then you go for something like say aqua jet and much respects and then you slap a choice band on this mon and you just say go get me a ko and then after that i'm gonna trap him in and perish him um but I i've you know i've had games where for example the the opponent leads really weak into me uh and i literally just go like turn one perish uh and then just like flip turn into my gothitelle and then with like things like fake out uh fake out trick room this just becomes like incredibly hard to deal with psychic's always just like a good stab move as well that's not psychic psychic uh really really good stab move there and then you just go like something like citrus berry on this one and then you just go uh, obviously shadow tag there um in terms of terror i like dark personally but again that's just like this one also likes things like steel like steel in rain is always really really good uh, but then you got like helping hand perish song uh i like muddy water as well making the opponent miss is like always sick uh and not to mention it's just a good move in rain uh and then yeah something like this too and then like uh you could always go like rocky helmet here as well i do think which is really really good for things like urshifu uh and then again terra is kind of whatever um steel works really really well uh grass is also really good uh both just like benefit a lot from the rain and they're just good like defensive typings in general uh, but yeah in terms of spread on this guy you just want to like optimize your, your bulk here right so something like this is probably okay uh run that there and then yeah honestly that's probably like all you really need to do um if you wanted you could obviously like optimize like maybe drop a couple points add a little bit of speed a little bit of special attack but really this one is kind of there to like click parashong um and then just like just be around helping hand up the basket legion pick up some ko's protect whatnot uh and then sinister on this team is just really really good because uh it's just like kind of a redirection one on this team at least that's the way i was kind of testing it um to use it with like rage powder on this set and you can run trick room if you want uh, but between things like Macha Gotcha, um, obviously like Protect as well is really nice. Basically, this mod is just great at just staying alive on the board state, right? So it, even if you get to a stage where you've, you've taken two KOs, you get another Perish off. Uh, and then this thing kind of just like sits there, you know, clicking Macha Gotcha. Um, Strength Sap as well uh, is like really good. I also actually don't think I mentioned Strength Sap on that screens team. Um, Strength Sap obviously really good on screens as well because you kind of just like lower their attack even more. Um, but yeah, so like really, really good because of that. Uh, and yeah, it kind of just stays around. It, it's annoying. Like a set like this, I think is really, really good on um, this particular set here. In terms of EVs, you probably don't have to change it much. If you wanted, you could go a bit more defensive and drop the special attack. Uh, but personally, I like being able to hit pretty hard with Macha Gotcha because obviously the harder you hit, the more you heal. Uh, but yeah, this is like a really interesting way to run rain right now. Um, and yeah, I, I've personally really enjoyed it. Um, I'll quickly just like do a spread, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that's the HP we need for Citrus Berry. Uh, and then again, it always just comes down to like the meta game and what's like what's popular, right? Um, but yeah, so something like just going like bold there, fine. Um, you can even run more special defense if you want. You can even like run a bit more attack and uh, a bit more speed and special attack. Uh, but yeah, I do think on a team like this, you kind of just want to stay alive, get off your perish songs, and then yeah, slowly chipping down from there. And then the final team I kind of want to touch on here is a team built around my guy, Big Bad Bax Caliber. Now Bax is a really cool mod that just got a massive buff in uh, in the teal mask. And that is with a little move called Scale Shot, right? So paired up with Scale Shot, we go for the uh, the old Ice School Spear, and we pair that with the uh, the good old Loaded Dice. And all of a sudden, we have two stab moves that are both guaranteed 100 base power as long as they hit. Uh, and then with Scale Shot too, we also get the plus one speed. And 
The thing with Bax Calibur is its speed T is like decent, right? 87 speed is not bad. Like if, if you're a bulky mod like Bax Calibur is with 87 speed, you'll take it. But the thing Bax has is just this absurd attack stat, right? Absolutely absurd. And what else does it have to pay with that? As a uh, little old swords dance. So I think a set like this, you know, the um the basically like the double uh stab move that pairs up with loaded dice, paired up with swords dance, and that uh, protect. And then all of a sudden, this mod really doesn't need that much investment. You can run like 36 adamant, like invest in bulk. Uh, you could also like hit the speed tiers you need. Do you actually hit the speed tier you need here? Yes, I think. Is 137 the speed tier you need it? No, I think 137 is if you're plus two, right? Or is it 130? I think actually 139 at plus two is what you need. Um, So you could always just like run something like this, yeah? Just like super, super bulky. Um, You probably want to drop that a little bit just to catch the spadef up, I think. Yeah, that's a six. Yeah, yeah, so something like that I think would be like really cool. Uh, and then terror type. Uh, basically, you just want to like terror out of your weaknesses. Poison's good, fairy's good, uh, all that kind of stuff. But now we're going to talk about the mods we're pairing with it. I, I realized kind of this jumped straight into the back set. Uh, that is Alolan Ninetales. It is Heatran. Heatran's kind of the one I've been looking at a little bit. Um, I do think there's like a, obviously a couple different mods. Heatran's biggest issue is that it, it is like weak to uh, fighting as well. Uh, but outside of the fighting weaknesses, this team's pretty good. Uh, and then finally, I know you all thought you wouldn't see it again, but it's Ogre Pawn. My guy, Water Ogre Pawn. Uh, I think it's really, really good pet out with Bax Calibur. Um, it's just a great follow meme on, and yeah, it's just, it can be annoying to deal with. It can also pump out damage itself. Uh, and when paired out with Alolan Ninetales, who are on this team in particular, um, I like Light Play. I've never really ran into a mon that I'm that scared of that one shots me where, like, I want to lead Ninetales. Uh, but if you are, like, worried about, like, you know, something like, say, for example, a Scarf Golden Go, um, Focus Sash is obviously a really good option too. Uh, and then, obviously, you want things like Aurora Veil. Uh, Protect is also, like, pretty important, I think. Uh, and then Blizzard, obviously, being, your you know, your main stab move. Uh, and then from there, it really just comes down to what you want to do in the last slot. Obviously, you got access to things like Moonblast. You have access to things like Dazzling Gleam. Uh, you also have access to Freeze Dry, which is another cool move. Um, I personally like Icy Wind, but it all comes down to what your team is running, right? So, you could also, like... Um, on a set like this as well, I think like Sash Max Max is like pretty cool. Because uh, what this allows you to do is make sure you get off the fast um, Aurora Veil. And if your opponent's going to W, they're going to W and you're probably going to die anyway, right? So something like this is really cool. Still allows you to do a good chunk of damage with Blizzard. Uh, and Icy Wind paired up with Bax Calibur is just so nice, right? Because uh, you go into these teams like Tornadus, for example. And what a lot of Tornadus is going to do against you is going to manually change the weather on your turn one. So how do you, you know, deal with them manually changing the weather? Uh, well, it's pretty simple. You just one-shot them with Bax Calibur. Um, or you also look at alternatives. Like, for example, you just go for an Icy Wind turn one, click your Swords Dance, and it's like, hey, you've got to click your, you know, now you have to click um, Tailwind. Uh, and then I can just go for another Icy Wind. All of a sudden, your Mons are minus two, and my Bax Calibur, you know, goes for his um, Scale Shot on turn two. And then all of a sudden, Bax Calibur is pretty damn quick. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool there as well. Uh, but yeah, this mod is just so bulky, especially like with Aurora Veil, plus like it's the, the, the buff to its physical attack, uh, sorry, physical defense from the snow. Really, really freaking good. Um, I do think Alola Ninetales is really good right now. Its biggest issue is manual weather is somewhat common, so you have to be ready for that. Um, I've gone up a lot against a lot of people. You know, I showed off some of my Tornado teams earlier. I go up against a lot of people who just lead Ninetales plus like a, a snow abuser, and I just set up the rain or the sun turn one, and the game basically ends there. Because uh, then it's at a point where it's like, okay, now I've got to swap out my Ninetales. Uh, but then it's like, well, if I just set up the sun and then I'm Ivy Cudgel in the nine tail slot, what's really swapping into a sun boosted Ivy Cudgel? Uh, not an awful lot. Um, but yeah, really cool. In terms of terror, I think Ghost is probably just your best terror. You want to be able to dodge fake outs. Um, anything other than that, you're probably just getting one shot too. Anyway, uh, in terms of Heatran, this really comes down to how you want to run it. Um, Assault Vest is really good. Like, I love AV on teams like this just for helping you deal with things like Flutterfish. Um, if you throw something like a Rillaboom on this team as well, Lefties is always good because obviously Lefties plus Grassy Terrain is fantastic. Um, for the purpose of this, I'll just say AV. AV is my preferred way to play it. Um, I also like having all the coverage moves on this one as well. So you go for like Heat Wave. That's Heat Crash. Man, I really wish Showdown would like... I guess it's developed for our single players though. So maybe they're done. But yeah, just that Earth Power, Flash Cannon. And then, of course, uh, the Terra Blast, Terra Grass. Um, so yeah, something like that's really cool. I like just going like... Th this set is like perfect for me. Because it kind of like hits everything I need, right? It speed creeps other Heatrans, so we're hitting that like 107. It gives you max HP and then it hits a bump number. Um, Heatrans defensive stats also so high that it doesn't really need much investment in them as long as you get max HP. Um, so yeah, something like that's really good. Uh, and then finally, Ogre Pawn, my guy. I've touched on him a thousand times. Um, it, it's it all is team related. If you want to run it, you know, again, like Ivy Cudgel is always on this one. Spiky Shield is always on this one. Outside of that, it comes down to you. I think Follow Me is great. Um, I think following me with Bax Calibur is just fantastic. I think this mod pairs really, really well with it. Um, obviously, really good into, you know, things like, uh, for example, the Urshifu's, because, like, 
if Urshifu is on this board state, um, you know, obviously it's not going to, you know, it's not going to come out and click its, uh, its Surging Strikes, right? Uh, but obviously if you were to, you know, say for example, go Terra Poison, uh, then all of a sudden it's like, hey, you can't close combat this, otherwise you're going to do no damage. But if you go for like a Surging Strikes, I'm just going to redirect it into my Water Absorb, which is like a really, really cool mechanic. Uh, and then again, finally, like if, if you want to pair this with um, Ruler Boom, like I was saying before, Woodhammer is great, Glassy Glide, Glassy, Glassy Glide is also fantastic. Um, but yeah, it just, it all comes down to you, right? So also in screens, like you got to remember, you've got screens on this one. So you could even just go like Jolly Max Max and just say, hey, I've got the following me if I need it. Um, but I would m much prefer to sit here and just spam out my two insane stab moves because like, I don't think it's been, I don't think I've said enough, but Ogre Pawn with Ivy Cudgel, Woodhammer, and then the boost from its mask, guys. Remember, look at this, yeah? 1.2 times power attacks to basically all of my attacks. Uh, it's not basically, it is to all of my attacks. So IP Cudgel becomes, what, 120 base power. Uh, this would then become, if my math is correct, that's 25 more damage, I think, on top of it. So become 145, which is just nutty, dude. It is so much freaking damage. Um, but yeah, I guess, guys, as well, some honorary mentions. Uh, Trick Room teams, I think Sinisty, uh, Sinistar, sorry, uh, paired up with things like Iron Hands is really good. Um, I think the Blood Moon Ursa Lunar in Trick Room is also kind of insane. Uh, Moxie Booster did do a video on that, so if you guys want to learn more about uh, that, go check him out. So I'm not much of a Trick Room player myself. I'll definitely do some testing, but I'm not going to, you know, I probably won't make any dedicated videos to like Trick Room in the, uh, the near future. Uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of cool Trick Room teams as well out there that I haven't touched on. Um, Ursa Lunar plus Vika Vault, another team I've kind of tested a little bit, and I wasn't a huge fan of it, but it's definitely a cool concept if someone, like, I guess is uh, a better Trick Room player than me. Um, I've seen a lot of Psy Spam again. Um, Dark types feel like they're kind of dropping off even more. So Psy Spam, obviously, stocks go up. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know down below, I guess, what you guys are playing as well. Like, what are the, you know, what are some cool teams that you guys have been trying that maybe, you know, I can try out or some of the other guys in the comment sections could as well. Uh, and of course, guys, if you made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It means the world to me. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.